What time is it? I don't know. I'll check. <gasps> it's spring. Wake up. Everybody, it's springtime. Spring is here. Spring is here, spring is here, spring is here, spring is here. Spring is here? Spring is here? Spring is finally here. here. With the snow and ice no longer seen. The leaves are finally turning green. That's why it's time to sing. Yes, there we are. Hello, my name is Shirley, and I am a box turtle. Spring has finally sprung. Did you hear the animals singing? Oh, they do that number every year, and it's always such a big production. Here, let me show you around. All sorts of wonderful things happen in spring. But it doesn't all happen overnight, you know. No, it takes a long time for the Earth to wake up from its winter nap. But before you know it, you're surrounded by old friends and maybe a few new ones as well. This really is my favorite time of year. Spring is a time when all the animals realize what they were born to do. And this is a forest where all creatures can come to find their place in life. Hold on. Oh, what am I going to do? Hello? Here? Nothing here? I will look over here. Excuse me. No, nothing. Can I Maybe help over here. you with something? What? Who said that? Oh, a turtle. Wait. Come back here. I must keep looking. I'm going nuts in this forest. I don't know. I see trees and more you trees. You can come out. And, and There's no need to be frightened. What? I guess it's okay. That's it. Do you need help with something? I've never seen you around here before. Who are you? I am the son of Diego Hernanda Fandaves. My name is Fernando. Fernando Hernanda Fandaves. And I am completely lost. Oh, wonderful. You have come to the right place at the right time. Welcome. Why don't you come down from there? Then you can help me find my way? Yes, of course. This is a forest where creatures who are lost can find themselves. Follow me, I'll show you what I mean. Fernando, you're going the wrong way. Oh, I'm sorry. I found a stick. Okay, I come. Many animals come to this forest looking for their dream, for what they should do with their lives. Do you see that swan out there? She recently discovered she wants to teach aerobics. Okay, everyone. Stretch and hold. Count to four. And relax. Well done, y'all. And oh, look, it's the wood frog. Is your son around? Yeah, he's right over there, just warming up. <laughs> thank you, thank you! That is your son? What is he doing? Just practicing. He wants to do stand-up comedy, but he has to wait until he grows legs. He can't stand up yet. But seriously, folks, how do you keep a bullfrog from charging? Take away his credit card. <laughs> he still needs a little work. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I must have a little frog in my throat. Thank you. I'll be here all spring. Hello. 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 And who are you? We are the amazing Todd brothers. And sister. And sister, yes. Hey. 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 Oh, and what do you do exactly? Well, we do this. We stack. And then we jump. Hey. Because we are the amazing Todd Brothers. 
And sister. And sister, yes. It is good to meet you, amazing Todd brothers. And sister. And sister, yes. You see, Fernando, these creatures all came here looking for answers. They were lost just like you, but are all finding their place in this forest. Now, what is it you're looking for? Your place in life, a place to call home, a place to live out your true passions. No, my brother. Your brother? Yes, Hernando. I thought that was your name. No, I am Fernando with an F. He is Hernando with an H. Well, how did you lose your brother? I do not know. We are forever losing each other, ever since we were children. But as long as my name is Fernando Hernanda Fandaves, I vow to find my brother, no matter how long it takes. Well, when did you last see him? I do not know. I have been wondering for so long, I have lost track of time, I don't even know what month it is. Why, it's the first month of spring! How do you know that it is spring? Well, I am the oldest turtle in the forest. I've seen nearly 50 springs come and go. I should think I would know by now when it is spring. But mostly, I see the signs. What do you mean, signs? The signs of spring! They're everywhere! You just have to know where to look. Do you see this jack in the pulpit growing from the ground? This is one of the first plants to bloom in spring. Now look again. Whoa, how did you do that? You see, once you know the signs of spring, you'll begin to see the signs everywhere. I feel a song coming on, Shirley. Oh, it's our resident lounge singing tree frog. Thank you, it's good to be here. All right, hit it. How do you know when spring has sprung? I promise by the time my song is sung, you will see the signs of spring. Oh, you will know when you see the red wing blackbirds are returning from their winter vacation and you'll know when you hear the vocalization of the spring peepers peeping at night oh and you will know when you see the hibernating creatures have awoken from their long winter slumber and you'll know when you hear the lightning and thunder as the spring rains fall from the sky oh spring is here they're all around you singing spring is here they're shouting at you singing spring is here they're all around you if you'd only take the time to look around and listen all right, let's see who we've got in the crowd today. Hey, look, it's a silver-haired bat. What have you been up to? I just flew in from Tennessee. Hey, I bet your arms are tired. I hibernate down there every winter. Nice weather, tasty mosquitoes. All right. And look, there's the groundhog. Did you see your shadow this year? Yeah, real funny, pal. <laughs> okay. No, but seriously, what have you been up to? Digging holes. Hey, I bet your arms are tired. <laughs> All right. Hey, and there's my old pal, the wood frog. What did you do this winter? I was frozen under some leaves for about four months. Oh, that's hilarious. No, seriously. My liver turns glycogen into glucose, which serves as a cryoprotectant that prevents intracellular freezing and dehydration. My heart stops, my breathing stops, and I remain frozen for several months until spring comes. Well, I bet your frozen arms were tired. All right, take it away, Shirley. Flowers of every color are blooming all around. Springing up from the ground to say hello. And love is in the air cause it's time. Take the time to look around and listen. 
So how do you know when spring has sprung? I promised by the time my song was sung, you would see the signs of spring. Thank you! Fernando? Fernando? Where did you go? I am right here. Look up. What are you doing up there? I don't know. I like to climb. Fernando, you say you lost your brother. How do you know that he is lost? Maybe it was just his time to leave. What do you mean? Here, let me tell you a story. Wait, wait, wait. Is this going to be one of those stories that seem to be about one thing, but is really about something else, just so you can teach me a lesson? Yes. Oh, good. I like these stories. Are we in the story now? Yes, Fernando. We just have to set the scene first. It is very beautiful. Yes, but quiet. You don't want to miss the beginning. Oh, okay. The spring frogs sing singing with a thousand trilling voices were silenced by the rising sun. New life came to the woods before the sun touched the tops of the trees. He slept quietly in the tall grass on the north edge of the meadow where the trees start the forest. Get up, get up, get up! shouted the red winged blackbird. Shh! hushed the mouse. I think he's lost. Just let him sleep. I've been watching you. You have been alone for a long time, said the chipmunk, stuffing another acorn into his fat cheeks. I hear your loss. Mama said to wait. To wait right here, whispered the fawn. She will come back. Aha! So you're the lost babe in the woods, announced the cardinal. I'll use my red, red color and fly through the treetops, signaling for help. I'm not lost, said the fawn, not looking up at all. She will come. She said she would. The sun climbed to a higher place in the sky, drying out the morning dew. The fawn stood alone in the tall, shadowed woods. Stretch your legs to make them strong, but don't wander too far. Should he be here? The goslings jabbered all at the same time. Where is his mother? His ears are so big! Is he dangerous? Where is your mama? Hissed Mother Goose. She said she'd be back. She will, called out the startled fawn, turning toward the woods that seemed larger and lonelier than before. Did I go too far? Can I say something? The fawn seems confident. I am not at all worried about the fawn. Well, the woods are a big place for such a small fawn. Maybe I'm a little bit worried. And the fawn has been alone for quite a while. Okay, I'm slightly concerned. And no one has seen his mom. All right, I'm worried. And someone is coming through the woods. What? But he's so tiny and alone. And how will he know what to do? As long as my name is Fernando Hernanda Fandaves, I will vow to protect this little fawn forever. The sound of loud voices and laughter carried on the wind. The birds suddenly stopped singing. The fawn dropped down to hide in the tall grass. 
When trouble comes looking for you, lie still, oh so very still. Don't blink an eye, don't twitch an ear. Let your spots work and don't make a sound. You are a newborn, born without a scent. Trouble's nose will not find you. Well done! chirped a voice from nowhere. I can hear you, said the fawn. But I don't see you. That's because I'm the master of camouflage, boasted the tree frog. Green is my color. I find my color and I'm out of sight. Hoya! Look how he used his spots. He did, he did, said Katie did, looking down from her leaf. Mother Doe would be so pleased. Tut, 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 chattered the squirrel. Do you suppose Spotty's hungry? Tut, tut, tut. Not to worry, not to worry. I tucked them here, I tucked them there. Hundreds of acorns, seasons ago. And did I not tell you? I do share, most definitely. Oh, yes! Flapped the dragonfly. I'll zoom zoom through the meadow as fast as my wings can fly. I will bring back food. Good idea, said the turtle. I'll just wait right here. Okay, hold on. I know I seemed worried before, but I knew all along that the fawn would be fine. He's hiding with his pots and all the animals are going to help him find food, yes? But the fawn needs its mother's milk, not acorns. Yes, that's a good point. So he might be hungry. And he still hasn't seen his mother. Yes, that is also true. And someone else is coming through the woods. What? But he's so tiny and small. As long as my name is Fernando Hernando Fandaves, I shall vow to protect this little fawn. Let's just see what happens. Oh, oh, who do I see? Hooted the little sawet owl. Someone's moving through my woods. I saw it. I saw it. Who's coming through the woods? Bleated the fawn. Where? Suddenly, a shadow darkened the warm sun. The fawn turned to look into the dark brown eyes of his mother. I knew you would come. The mother came back. I mean, I knew that would happen. Because Fernando Hernanda Fandaves believes in happy endings. Yes, the mother and fawn together again. Beautiful. But that is not the end of the story. The mother leaves again. What? That's impossible! Why would she do that? As long as my name is Fernando Hernanda Fandaves, I shall track her down and make her stay with her little fawn. But that's not how it works. The mother has to leave to keep her fawn safe. You're kidding me, right? Just wait. You'll see. Remember this, she said, licking his spotted coat smooth. He lifted his ears to listen to Mama's words once more. You are a newborn, born without a scent. I have to leave so Trouble's nose cannot find you. Stretch your legs, make them strong, but don't go far. Soon it will be your time, your time to follow me. Her words were remembered as he drifted off to sleep. The mother is leaving? But what if something happens to her while she's gone? Fernando Hernanda Fandaves cannot take this much suspense. 
The mother cannot take the fawn with her until the fawn is ready. The fawn must wait for his time. I hate waiting. The sun chased away the night as it had done many times before. The meadowlark sang his morning song. Days passed by, and the fawn grew stronger, as did the other babes in the woods. I can! I know I can! Puffed the determined raccoon, struggling to keep from falling off the log. I, I can do it! What are you doing? Asked the fawn. Climbing trees! I'm getting good at it too! Bragged the little raccoon. Do you climb trees? I don't think I can climb trees, answered the fawn. But my legs are getting stronger. Tomorrow is the most important day of my life, chirped the baby chickadee dee dee. Tomorrow I'm fledging. You are what? asked the fawn, wrinkling his nose. Fledging! I am going to flutter my wings and fly. I need to work out a few wobbles. Then I'll fly up there with the big birds. A great, great day indeed. When do you fledge? I don't know if I can fly, said the puzzled fawn. But I think my time is near. Yes, when will it be his time? The fawn must be so tired of waiting. I remember when I was young, Hernando and I used to plead with our mother to let us explore on our own. You said I wasn't ready, Mama. Said I wasn't quite ready to go. But every day I'm getting stronger. So lately I've been thinking, what about now? 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 You said I was just a baby, like a bird who's learning to fly. You said I wasn't very coordinated, so I needed to stay by your side. What about now? What about now? Yes? No? Maybe? What about now? What about now? What about now? I know I was young and until I got older, I could lean on your shoulder to help me through. But mama consider how much I've grown bigger. I've been practicing all the things that I've been learning from you. So what about now? Can I go now? Yes? No? Still no? What about now? Now, Mama? What about now? What about now? What about now, Mama? Oh, yeah. Well, what about now, Fernando? Do you think the fawn is finally ready to run free with his mother? I sure hope so. Could it be? Is is it his time? Sputtered the raccoon from above. Up popped the goslings. Say what? Say what? Say what? It's time! It's time! Shrieked the red-winged blackbird. Ready? Asked Mother Doe. There's so much to see. Yes! It's time! I'm ready! You see, Fernando, we all must wait for our time. Yes, that was a beautiful story. Fernando! What? It can't be. Hernando? Fernando! Hernando! Wait, I will be right down. I am coming. As long as my name is Hernando Hernando Fandeves, I am coming for you. And as long as my name is Fernando Hernando Fandeves, I will reunite with you, my brother. Fernando! Fernando! What? 
Where did you go? Fernando, I am right here. The tree. I can hear you. Hold on. How did you get under the tree? I will dig you out. No, I am behind you. I am coming for Wait. you. Fernando! Simply amazing. Fernando, wait there. I'm right behind you. I don't see you. I will keep digging. Fernando, turn around. I'm coming, my brother. Fernando! Aha! Fernando! At last I have found you. Well, it looks as though these brothers have found each other. Wait, Fernando, where are you going? At least for now. I do hope you enjoyed the springtime story. Someday I guess we all must explore the world on our own. And if you ever feel lost, or find yourself waiting, like the fawn in our tale, be patient. I have a feeling your time is coming sooner than you think. He wasn't lost. Yeah. <laughs>